look at MySpace as an example. MySpace grew very quickly, very successfully. And then they hit a point, a break point, where they couldn't grow any further. Instead of saying this is the new state and we have to work with this network, instead of doing that, they fought to grow further. And they, they fueled their growth on the backs of their existing users. The site became cluttered. Their, the network of users on MySpace uh, became too great. People went from having tens of friends to hundreds and thousands of friends and it, become unwield, it became unwieldy. And what happened was everyone left and everyone ended up going to their competitor, Facebook. When you look at Yahoo, very similar thing happened there where they got ubiquity with their directory. Then they moved into search and started to grow even, even larger. Um, but they tried to do too much too quickly. And Yahoo is now at jeopardy because they have to decide whether they want to try to rebound and push and grow from a network standpoint or whether they want to leverage their existing network. The thing that's exciting to me watching what's happening in real time at Yahoo is the fact that they have Mercer Mayer now in as CEO. Th this was in large part the brainchild between, behind the network, the search network of Google, keeping things simple to a fault. Uh, was really the strength of Google in the sea of garbage that was the internet at the time. You know, th the problem with the internet back when Google was launching and, and Marissa was at Google was very simple. How do you find information? You need to search to find all of that abundance of information. The problem now is, is ap the absolute reverse. It's very easy to find information. It's incredibly difficult to filter. And I think Marissa and her team understand this and realize that we are actually coming full circle to the early days of the internet where a directory was good enough because what you were looking to do was have someone filter for you. And that was the impetus behind the original Yahoo. And Google upended that model saying, no, 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 no. In the early days of the internet, it was about filtering because there just wasn't very much out there. So we needed someone to be our guide. And that's what Yahoo was. Yahoo was a series of guides. Uh, in the middle period, during the hypergrowth of, of the internet, search became critically important because there was so much information out there. How do you find it? Now, I think what's happening is there is too much information. We've gone from not enough to an abundance to far too much. And we've come back to how do we filter? Uh, will directories be the way that we filter in the future? Probably not, uh, but that mindset is critical. So when you, when you team up a brainchild of Google understanding those network cycles with the fundamentals of Yahoo, understanding the early days when filtering was more important than searching, I think you have an opportunity to see Yahoo become a breakout success once again. So I'm, I'm excited to see Yahoo's second act.